here at the Cookstoves Future Summit with Radha Muthaya, the Executive Director of the Global Alliance for Clean Cookstoves. Radha, I would like to just ask you, what is the most exciting thing for you about this summit and about seeing this group of people come together at this moment? Sure. I think what's actually the most exciting thing is to see the excitement on people's faces as they come here, especially those who've been partners for a long time, those who are founding partners. And the common theme I'm hearing today is, would we have anticipated four years ago that this is what the sector would look like, both in terms of size and in terms of sophistication and the number of different actors? I think people are just sort of, you know, pinching themselves and saying, wow, you know, we were part of something that actually is becoming quite scalable now. So what's exciting for me is to see that level of excitement in their faces because they were they've been there from the beginning, you know, and to for them to see it evolving and to continue to be excited about this I think is fantastic because we've just got some amazingly passionate advocates for clean cooking and what they're doing is drawing yet other you know advocates to 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 join the sector. We're talking about a lot of really interesting and pertinent themes here at the summit. Research and evidence, standards and regulation, private sector investment. If you had to boil down some of the key things that will really help us drive the market forward and help scale the clean cooking market, what would those be in your estimation? Sure. You know, we've learned a lot in phase one and through trying out many different interventions in this sector. So what's critical now going forward is I'd say number one, awareness building. If we're talking about a market, if there's no awareness and therefore no demand, for a cook stove or fuel, then we have no market. So being able to generate awareness and instill some behavior change to move to cleaner cooking solutions is absolutely critical. The second is we can have the best stoves and fuels, but if they're not, if we can't distribute them or get them to those who need the most, so many people talk about the last mile here, if we don't have that distribution network, that, that is a significant challenge and barrier for us. So those two things I think are quite critical. Um, number three, we need to ensure a strong supply. So with that, we know we've got highly talented entrepreneurs, there's so many of them here today as well, talking about the need for capital. They're not talking about grants at all. They're talking about the need for capital. They fully expect that they have to return that with some interest, if you will. But right now, they're looking for that working capital to just scale up their businesses so that they can meet the demand that they anticipate out there.